take this and put 2820. Okay, I'm going to shoot for 2820. I'm going to minimize chat. Here we go. Black to move. Okay, we've got a fork, but we need a lot more than the exchange. We need to mate. So let's look at this check. This is just mate. Mate? No, it's not. Let's not screw up. It would be if not for the bishop. So can we play a slow move of c5? Actually, it's still not mate, but yeah, it still wouldn't be mate anyway. So, okay, slow down. But yeah, we need a mate. So f5 is would be mate if it wasn't for the fact that he could take it. Um, small detail. But if he, uh, so I mean, let's just say he, you know, let's say we play this. And then knight h6. And he goes back to e4. Then I cry. Okay, that's a big fat nothing. I mean, I could look at the knight check, um, but I, like it just fizzles out immediately. Yeah. I'd love to get f5 in. Like, did I call it c5? If I did, I meant f5. f5. And the thing is, I, I don't have time to prepare it because I can't threaten another type of mate. Oh, I could win the queen though. So queen h5 is interesting. Because then I'm threatening mate. And if he takes, I guess he could take with a pawn though. You can go h takes. Um, But then this is mate. No, it's not mate. It's not mate. Oh, but is it? It's close. And check. No, he, he escapes. It looks like somebody just sent me a message or something. Oh. Somebody NHQ, not sure who that is. Um, okay, so yeah, this is this is interesting. Now, what if we did it this way? No, because he's still just going to take. But then, then maybe I go check it. No, he's no. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, what if I look at this again? Let's look at f5. And then let's say queen takes. See, now I can give a check, but he, he hides. He hides.
I came close. It didn't quite work. I was looking at c5, king takes, queen check. Um, he can't go here because it's mate. So he has to take. And then I was looking at, this is almost mate here. Queen, queen g6, but then he's got, um, he has one, one square of, of king h4. Oh, what if I give a pawn check? So what if I go boom, 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 and then h5? No, h5, because then he escapes. Hmm, that almost worked. Hmm. Wonder if I could play then King F seven f5 king takes and then king f7 now he could go queen check and then takes takes and that's an interesting imbalance um actually not even in balance he would he would be up material but that's an interesting idea f5 king takes and then king f7 because if if queen takes g4 i have check and then after king e4 i guess he can escape hmm it was an interesting idea What about here? What about queen h5 and uh, I don't think he'll come, he can come to e6 because I mean there's got to be a mate somehow. Check, check here is mate. Yeah, that's mate, I think. So that's interesting. So f5, king takes, and then queen h5. He has one square now. He has to go back to e4. And then we have mate. That's the answer. Beautiful. I'm not going to verify it because that's the answer. I got it. Going to open up chat. Ooh. Nice. I like that one because I got it right. No, but that was kind of nice. So I'm going to update the stream title. Aiming for 2825. Once you see the answer, it looks so simple. <laughs> All right, from the beginning. Oh, wait, so it started here. Yeah, but just it's just it's all forcing. The forcing ones are very... Um, logical. Yeah, it took me a long time to see queen h5. I kept wanting to really squeeze the king in, but then I really need to keep the knight.
Okay, I'm gonna make my chat and do another one. Black to move. Okay. So we're down the exchange. Okay, so let's start with uh, bishop h3, and then king g1. And then if I go rook g2, bishop g2, oh yeah, bishop g2, and then I have knight f6. So, okay. Oh no, but I th it's not a pin. I thought it was a pin. So, bishop h3, rook, uh, bishop h3, king g1, rook g2, bishop g2. That's not enough. Okay, so. So after king h1, Okay, so let's just look at the, the obvious first. So bishop h3, king g1, knight f3, and bishop f3. Trying to picture where the how the final mate might look. So what if I start with C six? Or c6 is the second move. Would that be something? What if I go bishop h3, king g1, and then c6? Problem solving. Because if he takes my rook, then I take... Oh, sorry. I guess he just takes my rook. I take check. Um, and then he plays king. He just goes king f2. Okay, not quite so check. I mean if I if I bring in this and then he takes 
that would be mate. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like a Legal setup. So bishop h3, king g1, knight g4. He can't take the rook because I take back with mate. Okay, this is looking good. Knight g4. Um, and what is my... My threat is that I'm going to take his rook and then play knight e2. And so what does he do here? I guess if bishop, it's the same thing though. If bishop g2, I just go, yeah, I think this is it. So. Okay, so he, he plays c3 or the computer plays c3. It's the same thing though, I just go check. It's the same thing. Okay, I should have got that quicker. I'm gonna open up chat. That was, that's basically a Legal's mate, essentially. <sighs> Mr. Tabon was thinking bishop h2, knight f3. Yeah, that's actually very simple. It took me way too long. <laughs> um, so I got six points for that. 28, 27, new personal best. Let's update the stream title. So now aiming for 2830. Look at that again. Okay, yeah, but I mean, cause this is, this thing, the, the, you know why it took me so long? Because I didn't look at the obvious moves first. I, I do a weird thing with puzzles. I look at the weirdest stuff first instead of the obvious. If I had looked at the obvious stuff first, then I would have found it quicker. Um, yeah. Okay. I guess I'm going to minimize chat and do another one. Black to move. Wow, we have the queen for once. Okay, but we're we're about to get mated. Might have to play g6 or g5. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so let's look at defending first. So if I bring the king to g8, there's takes. And I can't take back because um, I only have a rook. So king g8, and if he takes, and if I go to f7, then I think I'm getting mated. So that doesn't work. So then I think I have to move the, unless they sacrifice the rook, which I already looked at. Um, I think I have to push the G pawn. Now let's say G six, check. And King G seven. It's funny, I had a tournament game that was similar to this, but yeah, check. And then I'm, I think I'm okay there, but it's still questionable, you know. Um, but then why not G5? If G5, there's en passant, which could possibly be an issue. Um, yeah, because if I go King G7, and then he takes, and I take, he made a perpetual. If I take this to King, I don't know, that seems actually not so bad. Hmm. Now the alternative would be a check. That's the only other move. 
Um, and if he ignores it, I don't know, he might be okay. But if he doesn't ignore it, then I have mate in two. But if he takes it, I have a check, but eventually, I mean, I could get a perpet possibly. But so far, I haven't had a single puzzle that's a draw. Um, but maybe he can't ignore all of these. But do I really want to give up the, the rook for that? I don't know. Could even just block with no, maybe not. But uh, yeah, let's say he takes check. He uh, just go back and forth here. I mean, yes, I can go check. But eventually, I don't think it's. I think we have to keep that rook. I don't think that's right. I think it's g6 or g5. But the but then again, I mean they're the same move. They're the same move. Unless one of them he doesn't have to take. So yeah, so maybe if I go G five and then he takes and then Yeah, I've had a similar issue before uh, where then they can go check. And then after king h6, there's this. And my king... Well, possibly then I have g5. No, no, that'll still be mate. So that might be why it might be g6. Yeah, because g5, there might be takes. And then check. Again, I, I had a pretty much the exact... Uh, this setup in the tournament game and then check and then it's mate right or is it though check oh yeah i don't know my king might be able to escape this is complicated maybe i am just trying to get a draw for once Okay, let's look at it again slowly. G5 and takes. King G7. Giving a check on G8 is pointless because I just hide. Ooh, he could almost give a check here and then after take check it's almost almost works but no i think g5 take on e8 king g7 then rook e7 king h6 and then then rook rook b7 But I, it seems like I can still hide there after king h5 and check and then king g4. It seems like I'm alive. I mean, there's rook h4, but then there's king f3 and I survive. And don't tell me this is something. No, sh whoa. There's no way. And then rook b2. No, then I can hide here. Yeah, so that shouldn't work for him. So then why would that not work? Well, maybe it is. But then, then you wonder why not g6? 
right? Like, what would the difference, if I can survive with G5, why can I not survive with G6? Yeah, because I get, so maybe takes King G7. It should be the same thing though. I should be able to escape that. This is, this is, this is hard. Yeah, then maybe I just bring the rook here. Well, no, that might be a problem. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe I take, then if he gives me a check, I'd actually, I can actually just chill on h6. But there, I mean, it can't be both g6 and g5. Only one of those can be correct. And if he takes and then goes check. And then, and then goes check. Now there's check here. Ooh, oh, this could possibly be a problem. Ugh, I don't know, it's very complicated. Oh man, I, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. Um, boom. What's the difference between G6 and G5? I mean, if he takes, there's no difference, literally. So it can't be him taking. So let's rule that out. So G5, the only difference would be if he doesn't take. So therefore, we have to look at rook takes. And then king G7, we have to look at this. And then... Um, yeah, so G6, check, king G7... And by definition, he wouldn't, he still wouldn't take. He would go check here, then king h6. But after king, uh, king h6, if he, t if, if I take, then he go, uh, uh sorry, uh, yeah, uh, boy, but boom, boom, uh, g6, boom, okay, g6, rook takes e8, king g7, and then, uh, how are they gonna do it? Yeah, then maybe he goes check here. And maybe it goes hides here. And then, then he takes, but that still doesn't make a difference. No, it does though. Because if I put on g6, if I go g5, he can't do that right away. Um, oh, this is so complicated. Because if I go g5, he can't take en passant later. Right, if I go g5 and then rook takes, then king g7, I don't have to worry about g, g takes. So let's look at the g6 line again. Because g6, he can go, so bing, bang, boom. Then maybe he takes, but if he takes right away, I can probably just take it and I think I can survive that. So, so maybe g6. 
also works, but it shouldn't. Right? Boom, bang, boom. But yeah, maybe he gives a check this way. Did I just talk about that? Um, oh yeah, but then he pushes here. Then he takes on a2 or on, on h7. And then if I try to flee, I, I can Oh yeah, that looks, that, that might be why. So g6, this is so mind boggling. Okay, g6, rook takes e8, king g7, then rook g8 check. And then, I mean, if I go this way, then it's just a draw, I think. Is it though? Because I'm just going to assume it is, but possibly because my queen's covering the square, but I, yeah, it probably is. So, uh, sorry, so boom, bang, bing. I'm trying to make this win for white because then I know it's going to be G5. So G, so bing, bang, sorry, I'm, okay, boom, <laughs> bang, bing, bong, and uh, boom, and then I think it's, oh, oh I, I, I miscalculated. Then he, then he goes F, F, G, and I do escape. Or do I? If I go here, then check. I don't escape. So, okay. Bing, bang, boom, bang, boom, takes. And if I take with the pawn, I do escape though. If I take with the pawn, I escape. Check, and then black has king g5. Bing, bang, bong. Bing. Bang. Bong. Bing. Uh, bang. Oh, sorry, so hard. I'm gonna do it without the arrows, okay? So. No, I still think that works for him. So I think the answer is gonna be G5. I'm gonna go with G5. It's wrong, God damn it. Okay, opening up chat. Um, okay, I got one wrong. Oh man, minus 11, that's harsh. Oh my God, I, I lost every single point that I gained. Oh my God. Okay, that one, that one was hard. Um, okay, why does it make me do it again? I just wanna know the answer. Okay, so, oh, okay, here we go, so. It's where it was hard, eh? So it's to so G6, I thought, okay. So first of all, why does G5 not work? So he gets a draw after rook v7. Wait, that's not right. Rook b7. So after a check, and I looked at this and I thought I could escape. Oh my God, King F2. Oh my God, that's such a hard move to see. Wow, that is so hard. King F2. That's ridiculous. That is a very hard move to see. And if, if we try to escape, then it's it's mate. Wow, and, and uh, 
I mean, if we, I guess we do something like this, it's still mate. Um, but we can draw, apparently if we play h6, this is a very hard puzzle. That king, king f2 is ridiculous. Okay, and then we, we can apparently draw like this, which is incorrect for the puzzle. Um, so it's all about king f2, wow, that's so hard. Um, so we had to play g6, and then after this, I thought, uh, I thought this was a problem for us because I, I thought, yeah, this is, this is just, um, so I was correct that that's losing for us. So here after F takes, I don't go to G five. But we had a, I looked at this too, and I, I think I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about this line, unfortunately. Okay, so. Yeah, I, that was a tough one. But yeah, here we can just go H takes or queen D4. Um, yeah, I think. I just, yeah, I just, I thought that this was a draw, but we have this discovery. That, that's a really hard puzzle. It's a good one, but that king f2 line is really crazy. Uh, I mean, not crazy, but really hard to see. So the g5, th this line to, to refute this line is not easy. Um, oh, wait, is it king f2 here? Wait, how does white do it? Oh no, it's, yeah, it's this way. And then you have to play king f2. Oh no, no. You threaten and then the king, then king f2. And yeah, to consider that as a possible move um, here is, is really hard. That's a, okay. So I lost all the gains that I, that I, that I gained. What's that one? That, that was rated only 2742. And it took away a lot of my points. That sucks. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna try another one. That was that was really hard. I'm gonna minimize chat. Like to move. Oh, that sucks. Oh boy, this one is probably going to be really hard. So do the lifeline, um, which is the first thing that I'll look at. So if he takes here, that looks to be equal for everyone. So, okay, so let's look at this first then. Oh God, there's too, way too, I, I don't wanna do this one. Oh my God, there's gonna be way too much to consider. So let's say he takes here. Um, I guess he can't do that because of B, B takes. Yeah, he can't do that. And then if he takes here, then I take that, so. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I start on taking on C3. Because he has to take back on C3. He can't go here because I have B takes. Yeah, so boom. Let's say he goes bishop takes. Um, and then if I take here, he has to take with the D pawn. Otherwise it's a lifeline. And then I win the bishop. That's the answer. Yeah. And then I go here and then it's a lifeline. Okay. I navigated that very well. I got to say opening up chat. Okay. That went quite well.
I don't like puzzles where it's like a lot of multiple capture. I hate stuff like that. I'm so bad at calculating that. But this one was very logical. Okay, let's do another one. Minimize chat here. White to move. Wow, look at that king. Is it just mating one? No. He's got one square. And I mean, I go, I go C4, uh, B4. He's got two squares there. That might not be enough. Okay, so then let's look at B3. Hmm. See, I don't really like him slipping out like this. So, and I don't think I can do a slow move. Hmm. I've got a discovery right now, actually. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to cover this square though. So let's cover it with the rook. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, ah, the square. And he's up way too much material, so we basically have to meet. Hmm. Trying to think of this like the now I'm trying to cover these squares. But that's not gonna happen. So let's, yeah, let me just look at this again. Now maybe we have to utilize the discovery first. So let's say a double, well, how should we do it? Let's go here, check. No, I mean, I can never cover those. Oh my goodness. Okay, then let's go, for, let's try to go for material then. So check. Well, it's, it's hard. This is not easy. This is not easy. Stupid C5. I see one way to mate him, which is crazy. A 
I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So I'm, but this is an idea. That's a beautiful mate. Beautiful mate. Now I have to stop all of his alternatives. Well, then there's a lot. Okay, I'll show you guys, but if check, check, this is mate. Um, but there's there's issues with it. So after king c5 and then before he could take for one. That's one possible issue. Which is a big one. <laughs> hmm. Check. I mean, and there's also here, which I need to deal with. Um, I guess, I mean, uh, I guess I give a check and then I mean, it's not clear. Then check. Ah, uh, doesn't doesn't work. I don't think it quite works. I think there's too many ways. Now, if I try that idea, if I go check first. I mean, sorry, I can't do that. Um, if I go check first. I mean, the problem with C four. Is he? He's got two squares to escape to. Oh no, it's the same. It's the same thing. Then it's mate. So that did come useful because I recognize that, that position is mate. So yeah, so check here and then check if he goes to B6, this is mate. Okay, so therefore, boom, bang, boom, boom, we have to deal with. And this is still mate. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so it did come in useful, but I, I mean, it shouldn't have taken me so long to figure it out that this is mate. Okay, opening up chat. Looks like none too smart guard it. I mean, it's so simple when you look at it. Okay, did, did I make up for the, that minus 11? Not quite, I need one more point. I'm gonna minimize my chat, do another one. Black to move. Oh God, it's giving me a lot of annoying ones. Oh, I don't wanna do this one. Uh, okay, well, let's look at A3. Why did I do another one? I'm stupid. Okay, so A3. Is there anything immediate from white? I think there is. King, King G7. Maybe not. Maybe I'm okay after King G7. Well, I don't know. There, there's this check. And after takes, I need as a free discovery. Let's say here. But, oh yeah, then this is mate. Oh God, there's some problems here. Right, like if I make a random move, this check is a, is a real problem. Now, what if I go to the corner, corner, there's, I mean, I have to give up the exchange. 
And after takes, 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 it's probably equal. But that's a big ass problem. And I, oh man, I don't want to deal with that. This is a real problem. I mean, here again, I, I have to take, I can't hide because then he just promotes. So boom, check, I have to take, take. And then, you know, yeah, that's a problem. Bing, bang, boom, bang, bing, and then he's threatening mate. I could bring the rook back, but I don't know if that's a win. Bing, bang, bing, bang, bing. Oh, wait, do I get to take his pawn? Check, take, take. Yeah, sorry, I guess I, I do take his pawn. Um, but I, I still don't know if that's winning. It's equal material there. My pieces might be better there, but no, that's probably equal. So that's still dubious. It seems like I have to deal with stuff here and not attack because this is too immediate. This is interesting. But he might start with this. Well, no, because I can still just take. Yeah, so rook b, b, set, rook five, rook four, b seven could possibly be interesting. But, oh boy. I mean, I'm not even looking at attacking because I just think his threats are too big, you know? I mean, I could look at attacking, but this, this check just looks... Looks like a problem. What if I had two, two free moves? If I had two free moves, then I'm, I'm going check... And he won't come here because this is, uh, it just can't be good for him. Check. And then mate. So that's generally not good when you get mated. So if I had two free moves and he goes here, you know, we have, we have mate. And if I had two free moves, um, and he goes to the corner, this is mate. Okay, so we do have we do have threats. Now, if I don't get two free moves, um, and he gives me a check, and I go to the corner and then check here, I mean, that's a big ass problem. I take, and bishop takes, and then I guess he's, then, then I give a check. He has to go to king c1. And I guess that's winning for me. So boom. Oh, and the other thing to consider is if he, if he, well, like, what if he takes here? I guess I can take he has no good discovery. Actually, this is a really good discovery. But I guess I can take, wait a second. Yeah, I could take there. Okay, so so a3, if, 
Um, if he if he plays king a two, um, probably there's got to be a win there somehow. I guess I take with the pawn. And that looks like it's going to be a win. So I think we can play a3 speculatively. So a3. And if he gives me a check like this, I'll just take it. So I think a3 does win. a3, h6, check. And uh, I take, bishop takes. And he's threatening mate in one. Um... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's hanging by thread. Boom, bang. Uh, what's wrong with King G7? I used to think it was that he could queen, but he can't queen. Um, but he could give me a check, and then he wins my other rook. But then after check here, I pick up the bishop he takes here, I take here, but then he goes check. Oh my god, it's so complicated. Why well, you gotta make it there? Okay, so... Boom, bang. Boom. Well, I, I was looking at this. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, so it isn't, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, maybe we do have to go to the corner and then check. Yeah, and then I would have to take, bishop takes. And check, king c1. Yeah, and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so he plays b3, um, which shouldn't change anything. I don't think it shouldn't. And then uh, I just go here because we're still threatening Maiden, Maiden one. And if he gives me this check, I take, take, and then it's mate. Yeah, so um, he might play bishop b1, but it's still mate, so yeah. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna open up chat. That was work. Whew, 2831. I think that's tied with my previous best. Let me take a quick look. I have, because I forgot, 2831. Um, no, that's a new personal best. That's a new personal best, 2831. Not bad, not bad. Okay, sorry, so what is the chat saying? Um, I'm not sure if this is from this puzzle. I'm not sure it was, oh. I don't get it. what ace three h of king seven. Oh yeah, let's just say one. Yeah, well it is winning. Okay, yeah. So a quick look at that one again. Again, if I had looked at my strats first, maybe I would have solved it quicker. But I I do this. I I solve puzzles weirdly. Yeah. So. 2831, new personal best on chess.com puzzles. Um, take a quick look here. So the green are the ones that I got correct. And this is rating gain, I think, on the puzzle, puzzle rating gain. And the recent puzzles. So that. That one I got wrong, which was quite a difficult one. I lost 11 points on that one. So overall today I gained about 15 points. Yeah, 15 points overall. 
slow going, but that's how it goes. Okay, I'm going to end the stream here.